Business owners and people who live in Portland's Pearl District urging the mayor and police to stop another round of possible vandalism and violence from happening again this weekend. And so this happened in an online forum and it got a bit heated at one point when a person defended the vandalism as a means of protest. Then the mayor jumped in. Let's go now to our Jennifer Dowling joining us live with an update. And so what else happened here, Jennifer? Well, that man essentially told Mayor Ted Wheeler that if he had essentially followed a list of demands, including that he resign, then perhaps people wouldn't have to resort to vandalism in order to enact change. Well, Mayor Wheeler hit back saying that's not going to happen, and he added that he won't stand for destruction. Pearl residents are again asking the city to stop the cycle of vandalism caused when direct action marches sweep through, leaving broken windows and graffiti behind. And until it you know, the vandalism stops, uh, the downtown is going to be dead. You are not free to leave. Many even praising police for kettling around 100 in the Pearl last weekend. What the police did in the Pearl recently, the kettling, is such a good solution to identify the people who are doing the damage uh, and drawing a line. What you did in the Pearl gives me hope because I think you took a step which makes Portland much less of a soft touch. However, one man joining the conversation disagreed, defending the vandalism and blaming city leaders in part for not following through on a list of demands, which included further defunding the police and having Ted Wheeler resign. You expect the people who are upset enough to break a window to meet you halfway when you won't even step down from your position on this. When you say listen to your demands, do you mean listen? Or do you mean agree to all of them? Um, honestly, I've heard your, I've so, heard your demand. Yeah, so preferably, I've, right? I've commented on your demands and I reject them. I don't okay. agree with them. That's my opinion and I'm entitled to it. Like you said, you're entitled to your opinion. But when you choose to do this, to ignore a large portion of your population who feels this way, right? Let's not forget that most people voted against you in the popular election. Um, when yeah, you choose to look, ignore I, this, not, when no, you choose I, to I'm ignore not, what your people ignoring. are asking you. I responded. You? I responded to their concerns. Wheeler ended the exchange by saying he doesn't agree with the demand of defunding police by 50%, adding he had no intention of stepping down. I am not willing to resign because I was elected through a democratic process and I still believe in democracy. I don't believe in anarchy. Sorry. And the, Neural, the Pearl Neighborhood Association president, Stan Penkin, went on to say during that meeting that there is still real concern about damage this weekend due to a direct action march that has been advertised for Saturday. So uh, he's asking Portland police and city leaders to call in more resources if they lack them uh, for this type of event. Back to you. All right, Jennifer Dunn. Interesting exchange between the mayor and that protester. Jennifer, thank you. The